10 green bottles and wind the bobbin up, which is just a little section in the middle, uh, was the last track that we did for the album. Um, it was one I really wanted to get in there. And I particularly wanted to get it in purely because there was a couple of musicians that I hadn't used very much on the album, which I wanted to use a bit more. Uh, a guy from uh, a tribute band called Pink Floyd, obviously Pink Floyd tribute band, um, and I've played with him in bands before. Uh, a guy called Steve Farmer, who's an excellent session musician, session drummer of the highest quality. Right, I'm Steve Farmer, I play drums. Um, I, I play drums on the track uh, Ten Green Bottles and uh, Wind the Bobbin Up, which is great fun. Um, I met Ian Watts through uh, working with uh, a John Lennon tribute many years ago. My main sort of field is tribute. I work for a Pink Floyd tribute band around the UK touring theatres. Um, when he, when he, well, Ian, Ian asks musicians that he knows to get involved in various projects. He has these crazy ideas. What I remember from the session was trying to make the track as funky as possible as far as drums go and trying to keep it in the in the vein of the old Motown style that I was I had in mind. Um, also trying to get a little bit too clever in the in the middle section for wind the bobbing up and Ian was raiding me in and telling me to uh, just just keep it simple. But I was trying to get all funky and complicated. I wanted to make a real good rocking rhythmical drum track and. Uh, he, he kind of kept me on the straight and narrow, so he reined me in. But um, what I remember about the session was just really having a good, a good jam, good vibe. Um, the, the the rhythm was cool, the, the groove was cool. What he was asking for was, was something I, I knew what he wanted, but uh, as I say, I was just trying to elaborate on it a little bit. He, he reined me in, and and we just um, yeah, two or three hours later, it was there. It was fantastic. Along with a guy called Kev Beale, who's um, he's like a glam guitarist, he actually plays in a glam band now. But he's a great rock guitarist and he brought his Les Paul along and uh, made that fantastic long solo at the end. Which, which we were thinking of fading out, but then it's so good we, we just left it in. So the track's quite a long one. Hi dudes, I'm Kev Beale. Um, years ago I was in a, a, a heavy metal band called Saigon Kiss that was around the Nottingham area. We, we geeked all over London, um, Rock and Blues Festival, Rock City three times. So my roots are back in the rock and roll. Um, guitarist, electric guitarist, a um, bit of acoustic, but mainly it's been about rock and roll and the serious side of it, but also having a bit of fun as well. Ian Watts, fantastic guy, love him to bits, very, very talented. Um, rang me up a short while back and asked me to star on a couple of tracks on a nursery arm album. You can imagine what the reaction was. You're having a laugh, mate. Well, I can't actually say on this video what I actually said, but it was on that line. So uh, after he convinced me that he was serious, and the reasons why, which uh, are fantastic. Yeah, we all know who's, who's had kids, that, that there are nursery rhyme albums out there, but most of them are, to be honest, a load of rubbish, They're done with a Bon Tempe keyboard, and uh, not very good at all. Ian had this fantastic idea, let's get some real musos together and do a nursery rhyme album, but let's do it in certain songs, in styles of, of classic bands, artists, etc. So once I got my head around that, he asked me to come along and uh, do a bit on uh, Teddy Bear's Picnic. As I say, um, even when I turned up, I still expected that there'd be a group of musos that uh, I knew that turn up, got you. <laughs> So, uh, but uh, the other track then that uh, Ian asked me to, to guest on um, was a, a version of Ten Green Bottles, but in the style of Jackson 5 ABC. This time he got a full band together, 
a great drummer from Think Floyd, uh, one of the tributes um, in, in UK for Pink Floyd. Uh, another good friend, Nick Miller, who did a, a great rhythm job. Um, Ian did the bass parts and the vocals. And after about half an hour, we got a really good groove going and uh, it turned out to be another fantastic track. My favourite bit, I mean, it worked out really well anyway, but the end, he says, um, yeah, just solo it out. And uh, I started getting back into my old soloing days, as it were, and um, soloed it out. And he kept it on the album, which is really interesting. I don't know what the kids think of that, but hopefully it might encourage a few people to play. Who, who knows? And my son's a particular fan of uh, Wind the Bobbin Up. He's two and a half years old and knows all the words to that. So I wanted to jam that in there. We hadn't got it on the album at all. It was a real last minute uh, thought. So uh, I sort of stuck it in there and made a little bit of a medley out of it. <laughs> 